Salutes, 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 salutes. Welcome to the Real Big Fruit Podcast. I am your host, Big Fruit. And today, I will be recording my story of man from Fort Greene and Brownsville, part one. Yes, I am the Michael Jordan of recording early in the morning, so I am recording this joint for you. Listen, peoples, my story of man. My story of man goes back to, I want to say, I want to say I started hearing man's name in like maybe 80, five, 86. Let's say 86 to be safe. 86, I'm hearing two little mix names in four green. See a law, shout out to homie See a law and little Mick. They name ringing bells like six o'clock. Now, I'm a, at this time, 86, I'm like 12. And they names is ringing bells like they teenagers. So I'm thinking these little dudes are like 16 and 17 years old. But see a law, he might have been 13 or 14. A man, maybe the same age, 13, 14. I'm 12. They like 13, 14. But their names is ringing bells crazy. But when it came to man, man was more of a mystery to me because I never ran into man in Sparfit. I never heard his name in Sparfit. No shit like that. I only heard man name in the street in Fort Green. Little man, little man, little man. So as the years progress, you know, his name ringing bells. I'm off, I'm doing my jewelry shit. Every time I come home on a home visit, his name ringing bells down in full green. Then some shit popped off. It was a major incident. Man got into some shit with the homie, Squeak. Shout out Squeak from full green. Man fucked around, and the Squeak got into some shit. And he cut Squeak real bad on his face. Now, this shit was like a double whammy because this shit, like, it lets you know the nigga man get down like that. So he was living up to his reputation, right? But on the flip side of that shit, he did that shit to the homie, little Squeak. And... If you looked at it on some G shit, like, oh, shit, he didn't even give a fuck about the homie Squeak. Yo, this nigga's crazy. That's how motherfuckers was looking at it. So his name was like, that shit was alarming. But that shit triggered off some shit, and we're going to get into that. Because he didn't just cut Squeak, and that was the end of that shit. That shit got into some other shit. And we're going to get into that. But we're not going to get into that right now. So now... It's 1990, 89, some shit like that. He cut squeak. He going now, man, start going through the full building. His name ringing bells on the full building. He doing what he do. He giving it up. Racky sound style. Name ringing bells, crazy full building. Niggas shaking when he come through. I come through. I start touching the full building. I'm seeing this shit. At the time, we was calling him Mr. Humphrey. <laughs> Shout out my boy, man, a.k.a. Mr. Humphrey. Yeah, he was under a name, Mr. Humphrey, doing what he do. So I always knew him as Mr. Humphrey. And he had the full building shaking. Niggas wasn't playing no games around. Man, man was letting go and man was giving it up. So I'm talking full building, 90, 91, all that crazy shit. Now, I fucks around with this leave man in the full building, all that crazy shit. Man go up north. I do the six building bit. Squeak come through the six building. Yo, ooh, ooh, I see the shit on his face. He give me the rundown that shit happened. He let me know all the current events that occurred after that shit happened. Like shit was crazy. So this shit I'm giving you is no cap, son. I'm giving you the real deal on my story of man. Part one, but part two is gonna be a rocker. You know what I'm saying? Part two, man, squeak featuring fly tie. That shit gonna be crazy. But we gonna get into that. So now, man, name is ringing bells behind all this jail shit. He cut squeak. The niggas had gunplay in the street. Like, you know what I'm saying? He up on the hill in Brownsville. 
yeah, fucking with MOP to the death, MOP for life, first family, like, man, shit is ringing bells. So now, years progress. We in the fall building again. Now, let me say this, right? Dudes always talk about how, yeah, y'all see I got my first pair of glasses on. I can see the screen now, man. <laughs> shout out, shout out my motherfucking uh, 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 vision insurance. I'm trying to get it together, bro. I can't see at night when I'm driving. I can't see the screen when I'm talking to y'all, reading your comments, but uh, your boy went to the eye doctor and got his shit right. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, back to men. Like, niggas always talk about how shoe shine, rest in peace to homie, and shy wells the niggas had those long runs in C-74, right? Yo, them niggas was adolescents forever. Niggas was grown men in the four building. You may be right about that shit. But man was one of them niggas too. That nigga man first started touching the four building. 88. Let's, let's play it safe. 88. He was in the full building in 93. <laughs> so that's 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. Like he had a six-year run as an adolescent. What you know about that? <laughs> With state bids and, and C-76 under his belt, state bids, all that shit. He had a six-year run as C-74. So I say that to say this. When it came to that... C-74, Ragged Sound shit. Man was doing it. Man was jailing it. You know what I'm saying? But this is the funny shit, right? <laughs> it's 1993. We in the fall building. We the boys. Shout out the boys. Rest in peace, Big Belly Man. Hey, we the boys. We running around the fall building doing what we do. Now, being that we was the boys, we had a little crew of the little homies that was, you know, doing what they do in the building. Down in Mar nah. We left them down there to do what they do. So when I say the little homies down in Mar now, I'm talking squeak, fly tie, rest in peace, raw, uh, Lil Weege, shout out Lil Weege. <laughs> it was a bunch of little motherfuckers, right? But they was down in Mar now doing what they do. That was their shit. You know what I'm saying? And we up and forth for the boys running around doing what we do. We get the word. Yo, yo, that nigga man in the receiving room. It's 1993, son. Man been doing this for building shit way too long. We get the word. Yo, man in the receiving room. So big belly man, like, whoa, yo, that's the homie. Yo, let's go, just go see him. So I'm like, oh shit, let's go check on man. And then it hit me. Bam. Oh shit. He cut that little next week. <laughs> Heck like. Oh, man. Fuck it. He ain't going to want no problems with, with me. So I'm like, I don't know, son. That's, that, that's a, that, that, that's a, them niggas had a lot of gunplay in the streets. He heck wasn't aware of all the gunplay and this nigga shooting at this nigga, this nigga shot that nigga. Heck ain't know none of that. Heck just knew, man, cut squeak. When it comes to jail shit, man, get busy, squeak a little nigga. This is all high heck looking at it. He ain't going to want no problems. I'm like, nah, son. That shit a little deeper than that. <laughs> this shit deeper than rap when it comes to these niggas. But we gonna get into all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm holding that for part two. So me and Heck shoot to receive when we go see the nigga man. On our way there, police flags. Yo, y'all, where y'all going? We like, yo, we going to see him. They like, nah, turn around. Y'all can't go through it. So we never get to go see man. On our way back to Fort Upper. On our way back to Fort Upper. Some dudes is coming from the receiving room. So we all in the hallway together. Me and Heck hear them niggas saying, some little niggas in Mar now. Me and Heck hear them niggas saying, yo, that nigga man in the building, that nigga man in the building. Now these, these squeak little men. <laughs> this shit is funny. They're like, yo, that nigga man in the building, that nigga man in the building. Yo, he cut the homie squeak. So now nah, that shit get down to Mar now. So Heck like, yo, them little niggas is bugging. Them niggas act like you want a problem with man. I'm like, oh, sick. This shit gonna be funny. Cause heck don't know about all the 
extra activity that didn't took place since this nigga cut sweet. All oh, heck thinking about is this jail shit. I'm like, nah, them little niggas don't want no problems with men, but this shit deeper than rap. So we go back to four of them. Them little niggas go tomorrow now. I guess men get processed. He go to Mall 6, whatever. Ah, ooh, ooh. You know, when you come through the four building, you go to Mall New Jack House, first thing you do, sign up for Lord Library, get in the hallway so you can see niggas, whatever, whatever. So man do what he's supposed to do. As soon as he ball in the house, push the Lord Library, 9 o'clock the next morning. So we all run in the hall, we go to the Lord Library. Now, and all this shit transpired this one minute. <laughs> in the New York minute, Shelly C. Shelly Ford's finest. I'm giving y'all here. We all making our way to Lord Library. Me, Big Belly Man Head, Shoe Shine, and Deluxe. Because this is the day Deluxe yaps Kaka. This all transpired in the Lord Library at one time. We all go down there. Me, Big Belly Man Head, rest in peace. Shoe Shine, rest in peace. Deluxe. Us four. As we going through the hallway and shit, we going to Lord Live, baby. All it's so much shit going on. Lux already got it in his mind. He gonna yap this nigga caca. We going to Lord Library, knowing the nigga man in the building. And as we go into the Lord Library, walking out the hallway, the nigga squeak pops up the seven eight nine building. Squeak like, yo, what's up? Niggas is like, oh, shit. He like, yo, tell that nigga, man, ooh, ah, ooh, Lord Library. So I'm like, oh, shit. This shit crazy. Heck think this shit funny. Heck like, oh, shit, this nigga, this nigga Squeak wanted with man. Yo, this nigga Squeak funny, he don't want it with man. Squeak like, nah, son, tell that nigga Lord Library. But at the same time, Squeak got some little niggas rolling with him who just don't know no better. <laughs> These little niggas don't know no better. But they rolling with Squeak. So all this time we're going to the law library. We get in the law library. Boom. Now, the, the boys, we get in there. Me, hat, shoe, the lux. We get in the law library. We sitting at the table. Squeak and the nigga Kaka come in. Because they came from all now. They come in. Squeak, squeak on a hundred. He waiting for the nigga man. He gripped up. He waiting for man to walk in the lower library. Kaka, he playing it neutral. He ain't got nothing to do with that shit. That sweet personal shit. But he did come to the lower library with squeak. But unbeknownst to Kaka, the nigga deluxe on the side, scheming on the nigga Kaka, because Kaka had a nice piece on his chain. And the, the piece was big enough for a chain that deluxe had on his neck. It was the only piece in the building that was going to fit that chain. So the night prior, Lux had made a statement. Yo, son, it's only one piece in the jail that fit my chain. I'm getting that. So everybody like, oh, son, you want to have this nigga? He like, yeah, son, that nigga ain't my man. Because his Lux code offended, popcorn, rest in peace, popcorn, he blew caca. So Lux's whole position was, yo, listen, my code offended cut that nigga, son. That nigga ain't my man. Ooh, 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 ah, ooh. I'm getting this nigga. So all this shit going on at one time in the lower library at one fucking table, son. Squeak the only motherfucker standing up. Me, Heck, Shoe, and Kaka sitting down. The Lux come over there. He lean on the table. He got the nigga Kaka. Kaka jump up. Kaka, he can't see. He swinging razors blind, shoe busting in the chair, heck stalked on chairs. It got it got lit. And at the same time, the nigga man walks through the door, squeaks, see the nigga man, yo, 789 building, me and you. Ah, man, like, what? You crazy nigga? We could get it shaking right here. Yo, the shit was crazy, son. All that shit transpired in the little library in that one minute, son. Police ain't know what the fucking do. Needless to say, niggas got dragged up on the library. Niggas got caught with burners, all types of stupid shit. So now, these little niggas in the four building about to get a taste of men. 
this nigga's a grown ass man. These little niggas about to get a taste of man in the full bloom. Yeah, they about to get a taste of man in the full bloom. So now we all go where we go. I think my shit. I went to the bang. I never got out the bang. Heck went up north. Man was in the building. Man, the squeak was beefing. I don't know if they ever seen each other. I never heard that. But I did hear how Fly Tie went up north, came back down. Man was in the building. Boom, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into all that shit in part two. But man, we talking about man. You know what I'm saying? Man had to shake up the four building. You know what I'm saying? He did have to land in the four upper while I was in the bang. I was in the bang. Predicate. Handcuff order. Niggas couldn't get to me. I wasn't hearing everything and anything that was going on. So a lot of shit was going on daily that I wasn't aware. Of. But I did get winter him falling in full upper with the LG crew. And on strength of me, he ain't go up in there and just let them niggas have it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He spared them niggas rod. He listened to the niggas. He ended up getting cool with the niggas. And they rocked full upper without nobody shed no blood, you know what I'm saying? So big up the man for uh, uh showing love to them LG boys on the strip of me. And to this day, you know what I'm saying? The boys maintain a relationship with man and it's all love, you know what I'm saying? But we gonna get into all that because man was the homie. So man fucks around, go up north, do another state bid. I think he got about two, three state bids on this belt. I'm not sure, but man was repping, holding it down. Man was holding it down, representing for green. Then that MOP shit popped like crazy. He stamped his name on that shit. You know what I'm saying? MOP up the hill. I was surprised to learn man was from up the hill. I was like, damn, so how much gangster can a nigga have? Being a motherfucker shoot out of four green is enough. Now you on the hill, come up um, up on the Donnie and Big Nuke, OG Nuke, and all these niggas repping MOP, first family for life. Goddamn, nigga. I'm on Coney Island. Letting his gun go off like, God damn, how much gangster can a nigga have? You know what I'm saying? But man is a real one. Man is a real one. That's my guy. And, um, yeah, he got a documentary coming out. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, First Family for Life. You know what I'm saying? His crew. They know who they be. They put, they, they put together the documentary on man. And, um... When I seen that shit, I was like, yo, man, let me get up on that. You know what I'm saying? Let me narrate something. They was like, yo, do you OG? So I said, fuck it, man. I'm going to tell my little story of man before y'all blast off. And they gave me their blessings. So this is my story of man. But uh, but like I said, man, part two is going to be a rocker because it's going to be part two. Man and Sweet featuring Fly Tie. Not only will I tell that story, not only will I tell that story, but after I tell that story, I'm hoping to come back with Man and Squeak live together. Yes, man. We're going to show y'all what it's like to uh, have these beefs shed blood. You know what I'm saying? Uh, put our lives in jeopardy as children and young men. But as adults, we can come together. And, 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 and squash our differences, our beefs, without without killing one another. You know what I'm saying? That's what this shit is all about. Now, I gave y'all y'all my story of man. I gave y'all his gangster, big up to Brooklyn. That's what y'all wanted. The streets wanted that. I gave y'all that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All the jails, all the jailers and the B-boys, y'all wanted that. I gave y'all that. You know what I'm saying? That's the shit y'all like on YouTube. I gave y'all that. But I'm going to give y'all the part two which is going to be a rocker. Yeah, we're going to get up to some real shoot em up bang bang shit. We're going to let some shots fly. You know what I'm saying? We're going to spill some blood. It's going to get real. Squeak and Man, part two, featuring Fly Tie. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give y'all that. But I want y'all to catch the message in part two. Because there's going to be a message in part two. We're trying to save these babies. Real talk. So once again, man, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to my story of man from Fort Greene in Brownville up the hill. 
We is real. You know what I'm saying? MOP, first family for life. That's the homie. Man was one of them homies who died about a five or six year running the full bill, doing what he do. You know what I'm saying? Shaking that building up. He did about three or four state bids. He got a couple of state numbers. He might have did some 76 out, all that shit. Man was a legend on Rackets Allen. Man is a legend in Brooklyn. So this one was for Man. This one was for Fort Green. This one was for the Hill up in Brownsville. This one was for the Four Billing. All the homies that did time with Man. All the homies that broke bread with Man in the joint. This was for y'all. But when I come back with Far 2, Part two gonna be a heater. Part two gonna shake it up, and part and more importantly, part two gonna have a good message to it. So y'all tune in, man, and y'all stay waiting, man, because I'm bringing y'all some more entertainment, man. This is what I do. It's your boy Big Fruit signing off. The Michael Jordan, Michael Court. Salute.